everyone. Matt DiNapoli here. I'm the head of developer strategy with Cisco DevNet. Hey, it's Nakros Kareem Iskander here. I'm lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. And welcome to episode 119 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, and some cool projects that we work on here. And uh, today we're kicking off Cybersecurity Month. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, and it's October. Does that mean cybersecurity spooky, Kareem? Yes, actually it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a guest with us, Ron, uh, to talk about some opportunities around learning and certifications for cybersecurity. I am a security architect uh, working um, with um, major service provi- providers. Tell us a little bit about, you know, Ron, what, what do we have in Cisco U around cyber, you know, cyber ops and cybersecurity? Um, and then maybe touch on, you know, we have an entire track for uh, our certification track that's around cyber ops. So maybe touch a little bit for our snackers to kind of get an idea of what to expect on the certification exam. A few years back, what what we did was we, um, you know, we, we, we took a different path and created the cyber ops um, learning path. And, and really the difference there is, you know, the security um the, the security learning paths were very specific to our security products and, um, you know, uh, more general around, you know, utilize, using our security products. The cyber ops is really focused on understanding um, security operations, right? So, you know, in, in security in general and cyber security in general, there's, there's a lot of different paths you can take. Of course, um, working for a security operations center, uh, for instance, and and that's really where cyber ops and that the that learning path is um, is focused. Starting out with you know the cyber ops associate giving um, uh, students the opportunity to learn you know what cyber operations are, how a SOC works. And, and, you know, the different types of, of, uh, roles that, that are, um, that, that you, that you, um, you, you might fall into or you might find yourself, um, you know, working towards in, um, security operations. So I presume that this is going to hit some um, preemptive activities, things that we can put in place to keep us from actually hitting any uh, problems, uh, you know, with with bad actors. And then I also presume it's also going to cover situations where um, bad actors have have figured out a way in, uh, unfortunately, and, and we need to address those. Am I correct in that assumption? So what we're looking at right now is our cyber ops associate exam topics. And as you can see, they they start pretty basic. And, you know, the idea is to give students that base knowledge of understanding what it means to work in cyber operations, working in a, in a, in a security operations center where which is which is really where most of the 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 focus is these days on um, uh, in security There's many different roles and, um, you know, Based on the you know the the type of the, based on the size of the organization you might work for, um, these roles could be you know individual roles, um, very specific, uh, uh, with working on things like malware analysis or threat hunting um, or forensics, or you may work for a more smaller organization where where you do a little bit of everything. But you know, in general, the cyber operations, um, uh, the cyber ops associate exam gives you that base knowledge, and then from there, we have um, we jump into the the cyber course or the the, the professional level um, cyber ops uh, certification, and and of, and of course, just like our other certification tracks, um, this just gives you a little bit more in depth all of those topics that we touch on in the associate we 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 get much more in depth in the professional uh certification track but one of the the really interesting things and i think is is um you know is is a great uh opportunity for students of uh of cisco u 
is the um, the concentration exams. So we've we've created um, and these these have only come out I think within the past year year and a half. Um, the uh, cyber forensics and anal- anal- the conducting forensics and analysis and incident response. So this is focused on someone who may might work in a SOC or in cyber operations role, but focused on specifically on forensics. Um, that so, so that's one exam that 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 we've released um, within the last year and a half, and then. The latest one is our um, certified uh, Cisco certified specialist in threat hunting and defending, uh, and this one I'm really excited about. There's there's a lot of really cool topics. Again, you know, this is all public facing information, so you can feel free to browse through, um, you know, any of the topics. But we really, you know, we start out with the, the with what threat hunting is. And, and and how it fits into cyber operations. Not to mention from a industry in general, cybersecurity today is probably one of the hottest roles that you know any big organization or small um, they they need and they they look for. So you know if you're if you're out there and you're you've, this is something that you do, getting your uh, certification to in in that in that technology or that technology topic, it makes makes perfect sense. And Cisco, you has that for us. Um, from the, the blueprint that uh, Ron here covered with us, as well as we have a bunch of content in Cisco U paid and free that you can check out. We have, um, I think there's gonna, there's an entire cybersecurity rev up um, that ties into the cyber ops uh, certification training. Um, that is, you know, if you guys are familiar with rev up, it's uh, we're allowing you, uh, I think, six weeks to take the cyber ops um, certification training uh, free of charge. Um, just get into Cisco U and, and take it. Um, it should be released by the time this episode gets released. And I think we have a bunch of also, you know, activities and promotions that uh, we'll, we'll plop somewhere on the screen here for you to, <laughs> to check out. So Down here. <laughs> down here, yes. So um, definitely, definitely check those out and um, head over to Cisco U to, to have a peek at the at the the, the rev up uh, offer that we have for you. Yeah, what's really exciting about all this material and the way that we split what I mean, just, you know, quick seeing how we split it out is that um, it becomes clear. Uh, very quickly that there are different areas that we can even focus on in security operations. And that um, offers a lot of opportunities uh, for for jobs and learners um, in all of those areas. So, you know, it's not, I would say even maybe five to 10 years ago, definitely 10 years ago, um, this kind of, uh, these kind of layers of security weren't available to us or, or the learning in a consolidated way wasn't available to us. So I'm really excited to see that we, Cisco, are doing something about helping people get um, over the hump on those things and and splitting out the different areas that people can become proficient in in this space. Um, So you don't need to necessarily be a network engineer that has some layer of security as part of it. You can actually be a security operations professional. um, And we promote that through these through these uh, exams and in these courses. So really exciting to have Ron kind of introduce these things. Um, But Ron, you are a first timer. And unfortunately, we are running short on time. So I'm going to cut this little uh, info info session short and ask you the question that we ask all of our first timers, which is what superpower would you have and why? Boy, you know, I, 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 I guess I would say, you know, my superpower um, is, is really around, I love to teach, right? Uh, okay. You know, I, I, I teach inside of Cisco, outside of Cisco. I love to um, work with students. I've co-authored a few different books. In fact, right now, um, we're, we're actually working on a cyber ops uh, a, a, a um, Cisco Press book specific to this threat hunting, uh, this new threat hunting exam. So, you know, I, I think my, um, I would say my superpower, uh, um, if, if I, if I had one would be really just, you know, tra- training folks, 
um, uh, te teaching and, um, uh, uh, enabling, uh, students to, um, you know, to, to, you know, to learn more and to want to learn more. Um, I, I, I think that's, that's, that's probably what I would focus. Focus I love it. that answer. I love that answer, Ron. You'd be the super teacher. I like super that. Super educator. Super educator. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone go uh, check out Ron's book uh, and all of the information that Ron shared with us today around the uh, cyber ops exams and the cyber ops uh, coursework. Uh, check out the rev up materials that Kareem mentioned earlier and uh, just have some fun digging into uh, the wonderful world of, of uh, security operations. Uh, thank you so much. This is all the time we have for this week, and we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you, Stackers. Ron, appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, you.